Hello guys, it's Kimura Fair and welcome to Easy Dark Matter, a show where I will, well, give you tips on how to get Dark Matter way easier. This time, ARs. So, as it's the first time, I'll just give you a quick run over of what we will do. So first off, I'll just give you some tips, some general things about the weapon class and then uh, some classes and how to play with them. And that's basically everything I'll do. So. In this match, um, I dropped a nuclear, and don't ask me how I didn't see him. So I went 73 to 6 and dropped the nuclear, mostly with the mana war, but once I ran out of ammo, I just used the pharaoh. But I did drop it, so yeah. Anyway, um, I'd say enjoy, and let's get into it. So first off, for tips, of course you need to know the weapon class, so ARs. Best used at medium to long range, preferably medium range, except for maybe the Shiva, that's more of a long range AR. But that's the range you should be worrying about and don't go taking stupid battles against SMGs uh, up close, it's just not gonna work out. Maybe it'll work out two times out of maybe five, but the other times you're just going to get out guns, unless you've got superior skill and are a god. So, then the next thing is, you need headshots, 100 for each gun, to be exact. Where do you get headshots way easier? In Hardcore, obviously. So, you'll just go into Hardcore. I'd suggest going into Hardcore Domination, because the, the matches are decently long, or Kill Confirmed, whatever you like more. They both work, as long as this is Hardcore, the main thing. Remember that, you'll be hearing this a lot, and you'll be playing this a lot in the Dark Matter grind, Hardcore. So I guess I'll just get into the three classes I'm going to suggest to you. I've built one for the KN, which works on most ARs, uh, preferably the fully auto ones. Then I built one for the M8, which also works on the XR2. And then I built one specific for the Shiva. Now I'll have to say the perks you can actually choose what perks you want. It, it really does not matter. Uh, it's up to personal preference, but the gun itself, the attachments are important. So let's start with the KN. Now this is a very basic class. So we just have the KN with three attachments. No, uh, what's it called? No optic, but I'll come to that later. So first off, of course, high caliber, easy one hit headshots because with some ARs, especially the KN and mostly HVK actually, you tend to get like hit markers at the long ranges, so if you're on their head and you get a hit marker, high caliber will help you. Then a grip, just to control the recoil a bit and long range, and then last off, the stock, because you want to stay mobile. Sometimes it's better to aim with moving than aiming with your right stick, or whatever configuration you use. So perk wise, I went for Ghost, Fast Hands, Blast Suppressor and Awareness with perk 3 Creed. But that Blast Suppressor you can easily switch it out for Dead Silence if you want to sound whore really hard. But then again, Blast Suppressor also helps with sound whoring uh, when you're jumping. Less useful, but it depends on what you prefer. So to get into the Shiva, I'll start with the perks, they're totally the same totally the same uh, again it doesn't really matter so the Shiva I use ELO or you could use red or another optic if you really prefer that then high caliber obviously you shouldn't really have problems with headshots but if you well if you want to go into core this is the one gun that can one shot headshot in core and uh, it does so with high caliber I think any range except for long range not too sure about that and then again stock because we want to stay mobile now you see i've got an optic on this gun and the reason i didn't do it on the kn is because most fully auto ars have really good iron sights just think about the kn hvk even the icr is not that bad and i think is there one more i really can't remember uh yeah and the mana war uh, the mana war is also kind of good with the iron sights but maybe try to go for a a optic and just see what you switch out on that class 
Then of course we have one space left and I filled it up with a concussion because, well, if you stun them, it's an easy headshot. Basic as that. Now the class I built for the M8 also goes for the XR2 and I have to say, it's totally the same as the Shiva. Like, you really should be playing those two guns similarly. You can use the M8 and the XR2 from a little close range, but they're still preferable for long range, except for the M8 which is still kind of beast. After they nerfed it, it's decent at close range, but not the best. But you can use it at medium and long range. So, same class and, well, for both of them, they don't really have any recoil. So, high caliber, even in core, you should get a lot of headshots normally. That's basically it. You can go into core for this, but of course, hardcore is easier with one uh, burst kills. So, next off, the specialist. Normally, I'd suggest a specialist, but I have to say, like, with ARs and some other classes, it really doesn't matter what, what specialist you use. Maybe if you just also want to go for hero, you could just choose whatever one you want, to be honest. Um, like maybe you want to go with Heatwave, because it's basically a mo the most OP stun ever. Like, they'll be stunned for so long, you shouldn't have any problems getting a headshot on them. That's all for the specialist. Like, you can use a weapon, you can use a a ability, I really don't care and it really does not matter. Maybe you want to go with the Ripper for the Shiva because, or the Purifier, because they will give you at least some close range potential, but that's up to you. Like, if you go with Heatwave, you'll also have some potential, so just think about it for a bit. And I think I died in this gameplay just before this, so... Uh, kind of unlucky, so it maybe could have been like a really big streak or a double nuclear. I don't know, maybe could have been, maybe not. Who will know? Who will know? So anyway, this was the first episode of Easy Dark Matter. If you want anything extra for the next episodes, leave it down in the comments. If I forgot something, leave it down in the comments. And of course, I will put an annotation on screen. And the top left so just click on the minimap and I will take you back to the dark matter hub where you will have annotations to every single easy dark matter gun well weapon class that's already uploaded so if you're watching this on release day I don't think uh, you'll have any luck uh, watching the SMG video but anyway for next time it'll be launchers I'm breaking the order of guns for the first time and you'll see why I will do that. Like, launchers are not the easiest thing to do, so you want to give, give well, them a lot of time and attention to get them diamonds, because they're quite lengthy. But anyway, that is something for the next Dark Matter video. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. My name is Kimmer Fed as always, and keep on grinding. See ya.